Today, we're taking a look at the Saucony Endorphin Speed versus Triumph 18. Yes, 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 I know what you're thinking. These shoes are entirely different. They're in different classes of shoes, so how can one make a reasonable comparison? You're right, they are completely different shoes, but I thought this would be a good chance to highlight the differences between a tempo day shoe, speed day shoe, racing shoe that you'll get in the endorphin speed, and compare it to one of those more easy day and daily trainers that you'll get in the Triumph 18. This was a video request from our friend. His name is a bunch of numbers. I'll leave the comment right here. But yes, he wanted to know a comparison between these two shoes and I'm here to please. I'm gonna give you what you want. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Brendan and we talk all things running from running shoe reviews to training tips and running experiences with one goal in mind to make us all stronger, better, faster runners. Now, if that's something you're into, you wanna see more of this content, hit that subscribe button right down there. It would mean a ton to me, but that's all I'm gonna say for now. Let's get into the comparison. So starting off with our friend, Mr. Triumph 18, he is an absolute brick. This shoe weighs in at 340 grams. It's like, uh, I, I could barely hold it. It's that heavy. Not that actually, that was for a dramatic effect. But anyway, you get the point. It is a very heavy shoe when compared to the lightweight, sleek Endorphin Speed coming in at 239 grams. So I think it's exactly 100 grams less for the Endorphin Speed. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put the weights here on the screen right now, but the weight difference is quite insane. The weight is the only technical spec that I'm gonna talk about in this video. If you wanna know more about the stats of these shoes, go check out the first impressions of both of these shoes. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Now, yes, that is quite obvious that the race shoe will be quite lighter than your daily trainer, but what's with the ride feel? How different does a speed shoe actually feel compared to a daily trainer? Now, the Triumph 18, I have to be real with you guys, it does feel pretty flat. So the best way that I can describe it is when I'm going along, each stride feels like I'm stopping and then starting again. I have to really work to pick up my legs to get to that next stride. And what that does for me is increase my RPE, rate of perceived exertion, I believe that stands for. And essentially all that means is that it feels really physically harder to get to that next stride. It's not very smooth. It's a very jittery experience when running in the Triumph 18, I must say. It feels like I'm stopping and starting, stopping and starting. There's no nice roll through like you're gonna get with the speed roll technology here in the endorphin speed. And yes, that is one thing. The ride feel in the endorphin speed is buttery smooth thanks to this speed roll technology. You're landing, you're gliding through your steps, and then you're easily getting to that transition and the toe off. And that is also helped because of the nylon plate in this shoe. So yes, that's one thing I will mention. The Endorphin Speed has a nylon plate, whereas the Triumph 18 is just a slab of Power Run plus midsole foam. Oh yeah, the stock in Endorphin Speed has the Power Run PV, so the racing variant of the Power Run foam. So yes, the ride feel in the Endorphin Speed is quite different than the Triumph 18, just because of this speed roll technology accompanied by that nylon plate. So you're getting that nice smooth roll off and my stride feels almost effortless. My rate of perceived exertion is much, much lower when running in the Saucony Endorphin Speed and that attributes to a lower heart rate at the same pace. I feel better at that same pace compared to when I'm running in the Triumph 18. It feels so, so much better. But I will say the Triumph 18 is still one of my favorite easy day shoes. The Clifton 7's vastly approaching and gonna knock it off its throne pretty soon, I think. But the Triumph 18 is much, much better for those easy days where you're not really 
where you're more landing on your heels and you're just kind of getting in the groove and relaxing, the endorphin speed does not shine there. So that would be the biggest difference when running in the Triumph 18 compared to the endorphin speed. The daily trainer, Triumph 18, is much more jittery. It feels like each step is like a chop, 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 chop. It's not very smooth. But when running in the endorphin speed, this roll off, super smooth, super nice, just like butter. The gait transition is very easy and my rate of perceived exertion because of that is lower. I don't think it has much to do with the nylon plate if I'm being totally honest, but we have a video coming up very soon discussing how I think these plated shoes actually make our running easier. <laughs> if you're interested, you know what to do. Another thing is that a race day shoe will have a much less built up upper. And yes, in most cases to me, that means the upper is much less comfortable. So over those longer distances, I find that in a more cut down upper, it's not as enjoyable and I'm getting a little bit of hot spots and all that stuff compared to the Triumph 18 that is just pure plush. Like you feel like you're slipping into a memory foam mattress whenever you put this shoe on. There's just so much plush through the upper. It adds a lot of heat though. It's quite, of a hot, it's quite a hot shoe, I must say. Compared to the Endorphin Speed, there's a little bit of cushion, but not much. But I haven't had any hot spots in the Endorphin Speed, but the upper is not gonna last as long as the Triumph 18, that is for sure. So yes, a Speed Day shoe will have a much less of an upper compared to a Daily Trainer. Daily Trainers will be more built up, keeping you comfortable for those long miles where you're just slogging along, thinking about the roses and not really caring about anything, compared to the speed shoe where you're going at it, going hard, you're just getting in those tough miles and you just wanna go home and curl up in a ball afterwards. So you might be thinking to yourself, okay, awesome, the upper's nice and light, the shoe is light, you're getting that nice smooth roll off, making the gait cycle easier, running feels easier in these shoes, why wouldn't I use them each and every day? And well, yes, I guess you could, but there's three reasons why I don't think that would be the greatest idea. Number one is because of this smooth roll off, I personally don't feel that that's my natural gait cycle. I feel that this shoe is manipulating my gait cycle to feel easier. So when I'm running in the Triumph 18, it's more of my natural gait cycle. And when I'm using the Triumph 18, I can work on the imperfections of my gait cycle and work to become a stronger and better runner. Whereas I feel in the endorphin speed, if I use that each and every day, I'll find some imbalances and potentially hurt myself because I'm not going through my natural gait cycle. It's being assisted by that speed roll technology and the plate in the shoe. Yes, number one reason why I don't wanna use this shoe each and every day is because I just don't think because of the speed roll, it's my natural gait cycle. Number two comes down to your checkbook and unfortunately these shoes are not gonna last as long as the Triumph 18s and the other daily trainers. These shoes are designed for speed work and racing, so they're not meant to last forever. Although I will say the durability on the endorphin speed has been quite incredible. But yes, you're gonna find yourself buying more and more of these shoes if you buy if you use them on a daily basis. Whereas the Triumph 18, I think it will last you forever. This shoe is built like a brick and well, I guess it feels like it too, so. That's something to know. Number two is, yes, your checkbook is gonna suffer if you use these on a daily basis. And number three is, it may just be me. However, I find training in more clunkier shoes, actually just making training harder in general, and then going to race day with these nice lightweight shoes, putting on my one inch shorts, you know, all this light gear, feeling fresh, feeling nice for race day. I just feel that I'm more prepared for the racing because the racing will be more enjoyable than the sucky training. So training in these clunkier shoes, yes, it sometimes sucks putting on this shoe when I don't want to, when I know that I have this sitting in the closet that will make my run feel that much easier. It sucks to put these on, but I consider that mental training and the mental toughness caps you on your race day. Okay, folks, that is all for today's video. I hope that you got some fun out of this video comparing the endorphin speed to the Triumph 18. Like I said, it's kind of an odd comparison, so I wanted to make it more what you'll get in a race day shoe compared to a daily training shoe. But yes, I do want you to know the endorphin speed, 100% perfect for racing and speed days. Triumph 18, not so good for speed days, not so much for race days, but it does have a place as your daily trainer. And, as, and because of the advantages I just mentioned, still worth picking up. These shoes are great to have in your rotation. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. I hope you have a fantastic evening. 
see ya later.